Hey, a bit Stephen, that old Yorkshire geek, and I'm here to do a, a reaction video to the new trailer for um, Lee Wanell's Wolfman movie. I'm a, I'm a huge Wolfman slash Werewolf fan. I love Werewolf films and Wolfman films. Love the original 1941 Universal uh, Wolfman film. I even love the, um, oh, I can't remember when it came out. We did it in Friday Night Apart with Fear. The um, uh, Benicio Del Toro, Joe Johnston, uh, Wolfman film. I really like that. A lot of people don't like it, but uh, I really like that one. Uh, and obviously, you know, American Werewolf, The Howling. The Howling is probably my favourite all-time werewolf film. Even even more than American Werewolf in London. <gasps> Heresy. But anyway, tickle. But before we start, don't forget, like and subscribe, share the videos, drop a comment. Hit the notification bell if you're subscribed already. Explore the description for links. Uh, for my Patreon and merch and my books and other websites and stuff like that. So do all that to my life. Uh, anyway, so the trailer has dropped um, for uh, Wolfman. It's not The Wolfman, it's just called Wolfman. Two words, Wolfman. And it's from Lee Wanell, uh, who wrote and directed some of the um, 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 insidious films. He wrote Saw, started Saw and all that. He's an Australian writer, director... Uh, and actor. I don't know if he's acting in this one. Um, right, so, uh, when we uploaded... Oh, we uploaded yesterday, according to this. So, I haven't seen it, so we're just going to... I'm going in, it's a reaction, so hopefully it'll be good. Right. Um, so, here we go. Right, so, here we go. Hopefully there won't be too much of an echo, but we'll see. And it's universal, so I will definitely get a copyright claim on this uh, video, but whatever. in a forest? Sometimes. Can you fly? Nope. Do you walk on four legs? Yes. A bear? No. Are you a deer? No, I'm a fawn. A fawn? What? It's literally a baby deer. You're such a cheat. Stop! Oh, no. the grass, the grass, hey. Just look round, you know they're gonna crash. <laughs> What was that thing, Blake? It, it was, was like Bigfoot. But it was standing on two feet. Like a person. I want to go home. Don't be near the window. It's a little too dangerous for us to go outside right now. Are we going to die? No. It's my job to protect you. Like, what is that? It's the moon. Oh, there we go. That's it. It's a lot. I'll mute it and we'll go through it again. You know, I wasn't over impressed, to be honest. Kind of disappointed, but uh, anyway. So it's set in Oregon, according to um, this this sign. Um, there it is. Welcome to Oregon. Um, is that is that all you get when you go to Oregon? A little tatty <laughs> tatty sign on the side of the road. Come on, Oregon. You're a state. Pull your finger out. Was it filmed in Oregon, though? Don't know. Don't know. Anyway. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like this family, to be completely honest. Obviously, it's, you know, um, oddly not diverse family. Or maybe they are. I don't know. But um, anyway, never mind. Um, obviously, you know, mother and father, young girl, they're going to a, essentially a cab, well, not going to the cabin in the woods. The, the drive is, they're obviously moving to Oregon because they're in a U haul. Uh, and then, you know, they don't watch where they're going, crash the van, run for their lives, they get attacked by something in the woods. Is it Bigfoot? I bet Bigfoot's mentioned. Bet it is. Uh, run for the end up in a cabin. There we go. And uh, there's a part of this that reminded me, and I can't remember what it were on. It were on one of these, you know, these documentary series that you say like history and, and um travel channel and stuff like that uh, like a un not unsolved mysteries but you know um like an unexplained uh thing um oh, what were it what were it now i can't remember um but there was one episode where they were talking about a real life story of this man that were in this town in a small town and he lived in a cabin you know away but he worked in um um like a tire house you know changing tires and stuff like that um and it, 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 something happened, I can't remember the details, something happened and they went, I don't know if he disappeared or whatever, and they went to find out um, what had happened to him. Um, I think some, some things had happened in the town. I don't know if people had been hurt or animals had been killed or something like that, um, torn apart sort of thing. And they went to his house and it was empty, one there. And they found a room that were all like a reinforced metal room with chains and stuff. And they're saying, well, this fella a werewolf did he chain himself up every month. And obviously something had happened and he hadn't done. And uh, stuff had gone wrong. But anyway, uh, we'll we'll get to that. But anyway, they end up in this uh, cabin. But he gets, does he get bitten? Or we see him get scratched, don't we, through the car window. When it grabs him by his foot, does it, uh, does it bite him? Then I don't know. But anyway... Well, I'm director of The Invisible Man, obviously Lee Wanell. I wasn't impressed by The Invisible Man either. It wasn't a bad film, but he wasn't an invisible man. He was wearing an invisible suit. Spoilers, if you haven't seen it. He was wearing an invisible suit. Um, so it should have, been, should have been called The Invisible Suit, because he himself didn't become invisible. Um, so a bit uh, disappointed in that film. Uh, and I think I'm going to be disappointed in this. So, anyway, there she, she gets a big knife, her keys, whatever. Um, but I don't know, it's something about the cast. I'm not over impressed with the cast. They're not jumping out at me. I'm not feeling anything for them. Um, what happened there? Oh, never mind. Apologies for the background, by the way. Um, it's Evil Dead 2. I'm just watching the making of documentaries on the Blu ray. So I've just got it paused. Anyway. Uh, oh, see where he gets grabbed, don't he? Uh, does he? Is this where he gets beaten? I don't know. But then it's, it seems, is most of the film going to be slow transformation into the wolf man? Is it going to be like Wolf, the the um, um, uh, Jack Nicholson film? And uh, who else is in it? Uh, what's the face? Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, which isn't a bad film. Um, is it going to be like that? Where all, the whole film is leading up to him finally turning into a wolf man? Um, but anyway, I don't know. Uh, because I wasn't overly impressed. Don't we get a good transformation scene? Because they're not showing it, are they, in this? Uh, we're getting some little clues. Um, changing, obviously his handwriting is um, not the best as he's uh, changing. I'm sure he's in a lot of pain. They go running through woods. There's been something coming at him. Do we get a, gl we get a glimpse of it, don't we? Do we? Uh, or maybe before that. Can't remember. Anyway, whatever. Something changing into something else. The car won't start. Oh my! What there was that bit around here somewhere, wasn't there? With the the room. There we go. Oh, oh no, it's a plastic sheeting, isn't it? I thought it was um, a metal room, like we saw in that documentary. But there's, you know, the meat hung up. So is this the house of the the original Wolfman, Bella Lugosi, for want of a better word? Um, I think we're called Bela in the film, I think. In the original Wolfman. Anyway. Anyway, so, uh, who's getting them here? Is it, um, they get attacked, don't they, in, in the car? A, a, a wolf and hand, wolfman-like hand comes out. Is this him? Is this the, the father, the husband? Or is this the original, um, 
wolf man. I've no idea. I bet we're gonna I bet it's the original one and we're gonna end up seeing him or her eat fighting the father. I don't know who the actors are. Don't know. But it's out on January seventeenth. Do you know what? It's not impressed me, to be completely honest. It's not a good trailer, I don't think. Um, it doesn't doesn't fill me with expectation. Um, you want to see at least part of a transformation, don't you, in um, in the trailer, and you don't really see it. You don't really see it. I think you see a bit of a, a hand, you know, with nails and stuff, but is it going to be a CG transformation or a complete practical one? I hope it's going to be a practical one. But... Um, yeah, I'm trying to trying to see if we get a glimpse. Oh, for peace sake, because everything happens that fast in trailers. That poor deer's gonna cop for it, isn't it? Anyway, so there we go. That's my uh, oh, and there's the uh, the wolf man, or is he a bigfoot man? Don't know. <laughs> I bet it was inspired by that that documentary I mentioned. I can't remember the name of the series. I can't remember. My brother will know, because I think it was him that told me about it originally. But anyway, never mind. Right, so, yeah, cool. I won't be rushing out to see that. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. So, sorry, Lee, I'm a fan of yours. I like Saw, the Saw films, and I like the Insidious films. Didn't like Invisible Man. You did another one, didn't you, that wasn't too bad. I think you did another one. Was it uh, Upgrade? Was that, was that one of yours? Can't remember. Anyway, but anyway, uh, so let me check. Uh, upgrade uh, Lee Wano. Let me look at what it upgrade something along those lines. Lee Wanell, Australian filmmaker. Right, what's he done? Let's have a look. Uh, Saw Wolfman, Invisible Man. He said yes. Yes, upgrade. Yes, he did that. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Uh, but um, whatever. Anyway, right. So, right. I'm big again. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, not looking forward to that. Uh, well, when I say that, you know, I'm not not looking forward to it either. It just it, it just exists. It's filled me with apathy. Yeah, I was hoping that were going to be good, but it wasn't. So never mind. Right, we'll leave it there. A not very uh, good um, uh, reaction to the Wolfman trailer that's coming out in January. Right, thanks for watching, wherever you are, look after each other, and until next time, I'll see the, oh look, you can see what time, see what time I'm uh, recording this at, 12.22. <laughs> Bye.